Today we're going to be talking about historical cooking and in particular we're going to be talking about baking using a Dutch oven. A Dutch oven is different than a normal cast iron kettle in the fact that it has feet here and this allows you to put coals underneath the oven itself as well as putting on coals on top with this lip. Normal standard kettles just have a domed cover which you could put a ring on and turn into a Dutch oven but you would need something so that the coals aren't steamed directly on top or at least allow some space for the coals to be able to breathe. The amazing thing about these Dutch ovens is that they were very versatile in especially out in the American West. You didn't need to have a clay oven or a large um, bee beehive oven as they would call them. This would be mobile so if you were out in a military encampment or a chuck wagon or even in a family that had maybe not an oven just you could then bake whatever you do in a normal standard oven today in a Dutch oven. You can also stack these on top of each other so you can put a bed of coals underneath, coals on top as well as another Dutch oven and coals on top of that. You are able then to easily heat this up and bake something fairly quickly than you would have to if you had a clay earthen oven. So we're going to preheat our Dutch oven to bake a pie. It's important that we have something on the bottom of the oven. This is one thing that most beginners get wrong is that they just put the pie plate directly on the bottom of the oven. You need to have something to create that space so you don't burn the bottom of your bread or your pie or whatever you're baking. You can use anything from a horseshoe to an S hook to um, even I've seen like canning rings you can put on the bottom just to keep that pie plate or whatever your pan is away from the bottom of the oven. So now we're going to put a bed of coals on the bottom and then replace the Dutch oven and then coals on top. So we're just going to put a small bed of coals on the bottom. You want it kind of evenly spaced out. and we'll put coals on top. So you can check to see a little bit of the temperature just by your feel of your hand, a few inches of hot bub, and you try and get it to a 400 degree oven. The big thing you wanna make sure is that you don't have any flames, especially when you go to the baking part, because that will create an uneven heat. So now the Dutch oven has preheated and we're gonna scrape off the excess coals. Just check to make sure that the coals underneath are still not just uh, still there, not just turned to ash. Yep, so I'm going to move these in there to plenish. Make sure it's even. Yep. And then we're going to check the temperature of the Dutch oven. get ash inside. So you splash a little water in. And if about two tablespoons of water remain inside the Dutch oven, then it's, it's perfect. Place our pie inside the oven. Replenish the coals. Check 
check to make sure that there's an even heat and there's a little too much on this side, not enough on that side. Right now it's about a five, 400 degree oven. So you let that bake for 30 to 40 minutes, just the same as you would in a normal oven. And then we'll check back. So it's been baking for about 30 minutes. And so we're just going to take a quick peek and we're going to try and lift the lid without getting any ash into the pie. I would say that is probably another five minutes. I'm just gonna replenish a few more coals on the top and then it should be good to go. Okay, so I think the pie is done. You can actually smell it, it smells delicious. So I'm gonna just take off the extra coal. Oops. So some of the ash is not getting into the pie. So we're just going to take it off the coals. So there you go. It's a nice bubbling pie. It smells delicious. This is a rhubarb mixed berry. So like I said before, you can bake whatever you bake in a normal oven, you can bake in a Dutch oven. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. You can subscribe to my, no, I don't have a YouTube channel, just kidding. But feel free to ask if you have any questions. Otherwise I could also teach anybody 